You've heard about the what? You've heard about the why? Let us spend some time with you telling you about the how. The vision for NetIQ in the road ahead is framed with opportunities. The mega trends we all talk about, we all read about, around the social, the local, and the mobile effects, often referred to recently as the Solomo effect, these are driving the opportunities for us and is accentuating the opportunities for NetIQ in the road ahead. It's complexity, you heard about it from Jay. Now complexity breeds opportunity. In this new world we see, the power has shifted from the IT to the user. It's all about the user. And it's about volume, it's about growth and complexity I mean, just multiplying around us. It's a myriad set of users. We're looking at two billion internet users, more than twice as many mobile subscribers. Many of you here today have two, if not three different mobile phones on you. And if you start multiplying millions of applications getting downloaded billions of times, it is an astronomical number. So what does it really mean for us? Everything is growing. It's about growth. And around us, what we see are three different, four different dimensions. And I'll share these with you. First, users are increasing. User types are increasing, growing. We have native regular users. We now have 10 different types of user profiles. We have employees, consultants, contractors, members, subscribers, customers. That's how the user base is growing, both volume-wise and type-wise. The second dimension, applications are, in, are adding up. Most of us used to use native applications. Now, a few native applications are still being used, but the rest of it is virtualized apps on private cloud, virtualized apps on hybrid cloud, some of us may be using apps on public clouds, or pure SaaS applications. That's how the complexity is adding up on the application base. Third, if you thought users were growing and applications were adding up, mobile devices are multiplying. Nobody uses workstations anymore. We threw those out. We all have laptops, but we don't use the laptops as often. What we are using more and more are mobile devices. If you zoom into the mobile devices, some of you have mobile devices issued by your companies. In that, you have some of your personal data and company data, and somehow, there's a tendency inside those devices that separates the two. The rest of you have personal devices that you have brought, but you have company data on it. So these devices, users, applications is driving up complexity. And as it drives up complexity, what happens to IT? IT is having to manage more number of users more types of user credentials on and off premise, more number of applications, devices, and their IT size isn't growing. So IT is becoming inefficient and ineffective, unless you've had a budget increase. But budget stays flat. It shifts from CapEx to OpEx, but my budget hasn't grown, has yours. So that's the paradox of the growth, where complexity increases, resources decreases, and how do we deal with this? Because technology, as it gets into the ecosystem, it's like a sedimentary bedrock. Once it gets in, it's not coming out, and you're not bringing that out even if you wanted to. Everything is additive, integration is patchy at best, and we are constantly finding ourselves making sure that we are spending more of our time on those 
integration and the interfaces rather than the applications or the boxes. Most of you as enterprise architects, when you go back, you're building solutions, I'll leave you with a metaphor. You're used to drawing big boxes and little arrows. But when you go back from Brainshare, start thinking in terms of how NetIQ is approaching it, we're drawing big arrows and little boxes, making sure that the multiple types of integrations between the solutions are coherent and consistent and are coupled together, and they work right for you so that it helps you build your solutions in a solid way. That's what the complexity is about, and so how do we get to address this complexity. Our strategy is very simple. Deliver everything as a service. It doesn't matter whether it's in the cloud or on the ground. Deliver it as a service. Your identity infrastructure, your security infrastructure, your network infrastructure, your infrastructures and the meta structures, everything, think of those being delivered as a service. Because the role of IT and this is the IT's perspective, has changed. It's no longer the service provider. It's also a broker to external service providers. So welcome to the hybrid IT. And welcome to retail IT, where we are delivering these as from IT's perspective. So let me share with you for a few minutes the user perspective. Because you as the user, you're the only constant. User profiles are growing. Applications are growing. Devices are growing, complexity is growing, inefficiency is growing, ineffectiveness is growing, and you're the only constant, and we got to safeguard your identity and in a secure, easy enough, co coherent way. And as in soft infrastructure software, keeping it simple is very hard. Making it hard is very simple. So we're working hard to make sure that you are able to consume service doesn't matter where it comes from, you bring it your own device, you bring your own applications, you download those from Facebook, get your work done, bring your own Wi-Fi, bring your own guitar, bring your own application, bring your own everything. That's the world we live in, and that's how we're going to take you there. Pardon me. Sorry. Uh, don't mean to interrupt. You uh, forgot one of the most bring-your-own BYODs, the uh, bring-your-own <laughs> Dipto. Oh, my God. <laughs> What are you guys doing? <laughs> Perfect. I like that. <laughs> All right, look, we have to show them some demonstrations. Okay. Right, so, guys, now that we had some fun with it, <laughs> let's look at how our products are going to bring you these solutions. 